frozen, frozen, frozen. Spider-Man. spider sense is tingling or should i say my fleeman sense you know what that means there's danger nearby or shitty games spider-man cyber arcade pocket it's from lexibook comes with 10 spider-man games 1.8 lcd screen and 150 games can't wait to play this let's carefully open this bad boy up So, the first step, let's get rid of the box. Second step, the manual. This is the part of what I say, real men don't read manuals, and I throw it away. But look at this, Lexibook is on the same page as I am because they treat their manual like garbage. Whee! And here it is, the main event, the Spider-Man handheld from Lexibook. Let's take a closer look. Let's start by carefully removing this screen protector right here. My first impression of this handheld is a good one. Look at the color schemes. Blue and red, just like Spider-Man, blue and red. The D-pad feels responsive and it's way better compared with the other Lexibook handheld D-pad, that one from Frozen that had that awful D-pad. So we are off to a good start. We have a reset button, a volume and a start button. And on the other Lexibook handhelds, the buttons were next to each other. The action buttons, the A and the Bs. Now they are diagonally, that's way better. And then just look at the artwork. The artwork is 10 out of 10. We got Spider-Man here, that is web slinging through what seems to be New York. We've got the Daily Bugle paper here, it's flying around. The presentation is 10 out of 10, awesome. The shape is a little bit awkward, but it feels nice to hold this quite awesome looking handheld. So it has a nice grip to it see it right here on the back we have Marvel Spider-Man Lexibook some information technical information let's open this battery compartment up let's unscrew it put some batteries in and let's give this handheld a test run all right here we go Marvel Spider-Man cyber arcade pocket wow There are 150 games on this Spider-Man handheld. You can go through the list one at a time by pressing down or up, or you can press left and right and skip six games at a time to go ahead or go back. We're gonna start with the 10 Spider-Man games. Game number one, Spider-Jump. Spider-Jump, start. Ta -da! Great sound effect. Ooh. Poor letter choice, can barely read that. Oh, I played this game before on one of those Lexi handhelds. This is a reskin of another game. Oh, you can barely read that, look at that. Poor letter choice, graphics aren't too great what I can see right now. All right, game number two, catch them all. Oh, another reskin. I've played this game before. Normally you play as a pirate with a hook. This time around, Spider-Man with a spider grapple thing. Next game, Spider-Hero. You have got to be kidding me, look at that. Spider-Man on the Atari 2600 looks better than this. 
This is awful. What a garbage. What's Spider-Man doing, by the way? He's punching with webs? I can't... Oh. Garbage. Next game. Ultimate Bubbles. No sound. And we're playing uh, Spider-Man. Or should I say Super Pang. Not a reskin. Power Box. Oh, this is Boxel for the Game Boy. Not a reskin. Good. No, this is good at all. Next five games. Let's go. Let's go to Spider-Man game number six. To the rescue. I need some rescue right now. A is jump. And down is slide. But I can do neither. Ah, let's jump on there. This is another reskin, by the way, of another game. Ah. All right. Number seven, avoid the frets. I think that this game, the Spider-Man handheld, is a fret. Ah, oh, this is clever. The execution is poorly. I mean, look at those graphics. My God. But the, the idea for this game was pretty damn clever. You play as Spider-Man instead of Donkey Kong Jr. It makes sense to make this kind of port or reskin. But it's poorly done, sadly. All right. Number eight, save the city. I need some savior right now. Now, I, the name escapes me, but this is another reskin or pirate version. You play as Spider-Man, but it would have been more sensible to play as Dr. Octopus in this game. All right, next. Swingfall. Huah! Spider-Man, 50 points. Huah! Another 50 points. <laughs> this, okay, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Next. It's not risking, but... Oh! The final game. Sprint. I think this is the best one. That is another clone game. On the other Lexibook handhelds, do you play it as a Zool cop here? Something like that. I thought you were Zool, but this time around you're Spider-Man. Makes sense. It's probably the best game of all those Spider-Man clone games. Not that they're great. The graphics are really terrible and poor. It's almost like this screen is a little bit too small for the games. Oh well, let's check out the other uh, 140 games on this handheld. Let's check out the other games on here. Number 11, Mr. Runner. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Wow, they have balls. <laughs> they have balls. <laughs> all right. Let's check out game number 12. Cool. Wow, I've played all of these games before on other Lexibook handhelds. And they look terrible. The other Lexibook handheld had a bigger screen and better graphics. It's just... Wow, this is poorly done. Yep. Basically, all of the games on here are the same. Then on other Lexibook handhelds. Yep, we've seen this before, haven't we? All right, I will give you guys a quick compilation of all the games on here. And I will come back with my final conclusion about this Spider-Man handheld. My final conclusion about the Spider-Man Lexibook handout. Well, it looks like a million bucks, even though it's only $19.99 at your local Lidl supermarket. And it's great to hold it. The buttons are responsive. The only problem is <laughs> the graphics and the gameplay. I'm a guy that says I'd rather play a good Nintendo 8-bit game with less graphics than a bad, good-looking PlayStation 4 game. The sad thing here is that the graphics look terrible. It's almost like the screen is too small for the resolution or something. The other Lexibook handhelds looked way better. So that's a problem. And the games that are on here, well, I play them. And even though they're ripoffs from great games, they play awful. So I can't, 
sadly, and I really hate to say it, but I can't recommend this Spider-Man Lexibook handheld. That about wraps it up for this review, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video after I <laughs> return this Spider-Man handheld to the Lidl. Stay strong. Game on.